Hello everyone. Today in this video we are going to unbox the Alicia Souza trio uh, that I bought uh, in the launch offer. With this uh, let's get started. Uh, first in the box what I found was this really cute little thank you note uh, and then uh, there was uh, the contents of the big box of freebies. Uh, let's just jump into the big box of freebies first uh, because that is super exciting. The first thing uh, that I see here Obviously, I've opened this. So this uh, is two pack of candles. These are really large sized candles. The first flavor uh, is lavender and vanilla. This actually smells really nice. I'm a little mixed about this smell, which is eucalyptus and rosemary. Uh, but these are really good quality large candles. Let me see if there is weight. So here on the instructions, it says... Uh, about four hours of burn time which is pretty good so these are really good size uh, candles uh, then we have this very cute little um, pencil pouch if you can see it is pretty spacious and as compared to my hand this is also pretty big uh, there is a very great slot for cell phones as well so this is that then we have this cute little wristlet which is beautiful and with this gold accents and fall leather, I think this looks really nice. Uh, there is a little bit of branding as well uh, for Alicia Souza. I really like this. So if you have any wallet uh, which does not have a wristlet, this is really great to just grab and go. This is Little Notes Big Dreams. Uh, I think this is just a simple notepad. Uh, very pretty. Uh, nothing very different but very useful for a desk. Uh, then we have uh, the sticky notes. I've always loved Alisa Souza sticky notes, but this is uh, very cute. Then we have uh, magnetic bookmarks. Wow, these are really good quality. Uh, very nice. These are magnetic bookmarks uh, in very pretty colors. So no complaints there. Then you have a sunglasses case. This is pretty spacious. Uh, then we have the weekly meal plan and there is a pen with this. I use this very very extensively. Uh, I don't use any of the meal plans uh, in any of uh, the books. I generally have a very similar meal plan but it is huge but this is very small. Uh, but I think uh, the current meal plan that I have is from Amazon and it is working pretty well. Uh, but it's time for a switch. I think this is very pretty. And this is very good quality as well, so I'm happy. With this, uh, we got this really nice erasable marker. Even on my Amazon uh, uh, weekly meal plan that I use, a very similar marker had come along with it. So that is it. That is all uh, that was there um, in my big box of freebies, a wristlet. The prices and everything are mentioned here in case uh, you guys are curious. Uh, I think they're fairly nice. As compared to what it was uh, last year, I think this is uh, really great, to be very frank. Because last year, all the freebies were borderline disappointing. Now we have, uh, isn't it lovely? This is uh, the box with the desk calendar, calendar as well as the planner. I'm super excited to see this. Let's open it. The quality of, uh, so sorry, one thing, uh, the quality of freebie box is pretty decent it is not that great uh, but the quality of this box is very very good so first in my hand uh, is the kindness calendar let's open it and see so this is the kindness calendar with the kindness calendar you get a, a little vellum says have a lovely 2023 and then this is the kindness calendar this calendar is fairly smaller uh, let me pick up my last year's uh, Alicia Souza calendar just as a reference comparison right this calendar and this calendar this was my uh, 2022 Alicia Souza calendar if you see the difference is quite huge so even though the grid spacing here was not enough. This grid spacing is awkward. If you see here, uh, this particular uh, box is elongated. I don't really like this calendar just for the space because I genuinely use uh, these note spaces uh, for a good use. I don't want to see uh, show other months where I have actually written. But this is uh, actually a very, very good size. 
but this year's size I'm not very uh, happy with because this looks a little smaller and less functional but having said that the calendar in itself is very well designed uh, and of course there are stickers at the end which we all love so this is uh, the stickers that are there for this calendar I think there's just two sheets of stickers and then there is a pocket at the end so for me first impressions I'm not in love with the calendar just to show you a, a quick comparison also with the size of the current ink bucket calendar this is my 2022 ink bucket calendar they both are pretty much the same size I prefer the ink bucket calendar just because it is more colorful and vibrant uh, I'm not complaining too much about this calendar but if I have to buy it a standalone I wouldn't uh, buy it for sure moving on uh, to the desk calendar this is something this is the product uh, that I have bought the entire box for to be very frank because as soon as I saw the video that Alicia uh, put up I was in love with this desk calendar and I use my desk calendar extensively at work so that is the reason sorry I'm just taking off uh, plastic for now so this is uh, the desk calendar and I'm super excited the box is very sturdy uh, for this desk calendar this is the desk calendar I love it the doodles everything is just perfect Wow, this is really pretty. I'll show a few months. And there is a note from, there's a note from Alicia. Then these are the few months. And this can be uh, either a desk pad or standing on a desk like this, which is pretty good. These are a few months. And then at the end, you have a lot of notes pages. This will really come in handy at least for me because I keep this calendar at work and there are stickers of course I'll count how many pages oh, wow this is such cute stickers there are festivals and there are these uh, nice to-do notes I think about five sheets of stickers uh, I'm not complaining and there is a back pocket also to keep things so I'm in absolute love with this calendar uh, I will definitely extensively use it uh, and I'm I'm in no words this is a beautiful calendar then we have uh, the star of the show the planner I'm just going to open it till the time I'm opening this just to give you a quick disclaimer uh, I am not going to be using this planner I have already decided to sort of share this planner uh, with a friend of mine because uh, I have already decided with my planners and I will do a detailed planner lineup uh, shortly um, this is stuck with the packaging sorry so this box is very pretty I I feel like not giving this box to my friend but let's see uh, she'll have to fight it with me so this is a butter paper which for me unfortunately has gone ruined then we have the box the first thing is this mini pl uh, planner I love this planner last year I've used this planner extensively I absolutely love the size this year the colors the prints everything is just perfect I love it uh, then we have a wonderful book of stickers again a lot of stickers actually wow these are a lot of stickers let me know if you need a, a separate walk through of this sticker book I'll be happy to do it but this this is awesome just the number of stickers are so many so in case uh, I don't see it on their website currently but in case if the sticker book is available standalone I will definitely go and buy this uh, another one because the stickers the quantity the quality there are so many different types of ticker stickers so these are uh, more tactical uh, sort of stickers there are transparent stickers wow these are just beautiful I will do a flip through of this uh, separately then is when we have uh, the thank you note which is really sweet I generally save this uh, as a bookmark or something and then we have the 2023 planner to be honest I don't like a spiral bound at all uh, but the friend that I'm going to share this planner with is uh, has is been wanting the spiral bind and uh, this particular style so I'm fine uh, sharing that with her because this is definitely not my style if I was using this planner I would have gone 
I, if I was using this planner, I would have definitely gone for the hardbound one. Uh, having said that, uh, the first page of this is uh, the face of the proud owner of the planner. Uh, the planner belongs to some holidays and this was my problem even last year. These are not Indian holidays. These are just some random holidays like National Donut Day, Star Wars and things like that. So I am i don't think this is of use. Uh, last year also I never used this page. Then you have personal information, 2022, uh, 2023, 2024 calendars. A letter from you to you, very similar to last year. Dear future self, scribble, scribbles and thoughts. And you have some blank pages. Then you have annual accounts. I think something like this also existed last year. I did not use it. Uh, then we have directly start. Oh, this is very nice. This is some bright ideas. Um, pretty. Then you have Jan starting. Uh, notes and to do's. This is very, very useful if you want to write a running monthly to do note or anything of that sort. Then you have the monthly overview. Then you have the weeks. For some reason, I feel uh, the space than last year's planner. This is slightly less. I may be wrong, but I think this is larger or this is larger. Something is off, but it is still very pretty every year for every week. Then you have the habit tracker, then you have the notes pages, period tracker, symptoms, flow type to track. So all of that you can write here. Uh, then you have the monthly meal plan. I don't know if they had given a freebie of that meal planner. Why do we they include this here? But yeah, some people wouldn't have bought the entire freebie box. So I understand that. I did not use this. I tried to use last year. I tried to use this meal planner for a number of things, but somehow I failed every time trying to use this. Then you have the monthly wellness tracker. Again, last year I tried to use it, could not use it. Uh, then a blank page, which is very nice. This is February. I will go back again to March. Then there is April. One thing that I have definite problem with is this is cardstock paper. And this also is cardstock paper. If you see the last year's tabs, the tabs were laminated. This year it is not. I feel the quality wood is bad. Um, because if you see here, my May, April, most of the tabs have already folded over and this is the first time I'm actually opening it. So if you see my June tabs, they're all folded over. So I'm not very happy with the quality, especially of this. And you're paying a lot. This is one of the most expensive planners uh, in the country today. So I don't know why they would not just laminate these tabs because all my tabs quite literally have folded over. But the paper quality is top notch. It is always. Um, then you have August and the doodles are also very pretty. Then you have September. This is October. This is November. This is December and that's it. This is how December ends and at the end you have a lot of notes pages. There is some other pages also. So then you have highlights of the year, books I've read, movies I've seen and I think a ton of notes pages which is really great then you have a really pretty back pocket uh, and two bookmarks last year also I couldn't use the bookmarks they were very uncomfortable this year also they are placed awkwardly but yeah I don't have to use that uh, so I'm okay and then you have a really nice uh, pen loop and this becomes this is the reason I don't prefer spiral bounds no matter how good quality of spiral bound is there is a definite and problem uh, opening and closing also there's a problem of writing your hand so for example if you're writing here your hand ends here so when you're writing i'm a righty uh, it just ends here if you're a lefty it becomes even more problematic for you to uh, write so people who are left-handed i would not uh, prefer them using uh, spiral bonds for sure for a right-handed person it's uncomfortable but still okay one other way of using a spiral bound which i found it useful because i've used this planner uh, completely last year is to fold into half and this makes it very easy uh, to write uh, either this side or this side uh, so that is how i used to use my planner last year but uh, i've decided absolutely going against the spiral bound route ever uh, because uh, the Alicia Souza spiral bound actually gave up on me and it is in shambles i can't even show you that book it is in that uh, terrible space uh, and I had to stop using it in the middle of the year so 
that is one thing that is the reason i would not prefer a spinal bound book ever uh, one reason to that also would be because i am a, a very rough user of um planners because i keep the planners absolutely open uh, every time that i'm using it so i need the that planner to be available to me for about 3 to 4 hours on a daily basis so i understand my usage is very high uh, that is the reason i will not use a spiral bound planner uh, going forward so that is everything uh, that i had to show uh, let me know if you have any other questions i'll be happy to answer them in the comment section um bye for now